part of our cooking series on Southern foods, we're going to demonstrate the proper procedures for making pie dough. Once you know how to make pie dough, any recipe with ingredients you like will be terrific. People are intimidated about making pie dough. They shouldn't be. Let me explain what we're trying to accomplish. Then the recipes with all the elaborate steps will make some sense. The ingredients are simple. Flour, shortening or butter, a little salt, and water. From these, we want a pie dough that is tender, flaky, and easy to roll out. The flour contains gluten protein. Adding water to the flour, then kneading it, releases the protein and strengthens the dough. We have to minimize the kneading process to release just enough protein to hold the dough together, but no more. To make the dough flaky, we fry layers of flour when we put the shell in the oven. This happens when streaks of undissolved fat are covered with flour. We accomplish this by cutting or smearing the flour and fat together. When the fat heats rapidly in the hot oven, it will fry the flour, creating layers in the shell. If we overhandle the dough and melt the fats, then the flour will absorb them and the dough will become crumbly and definitely not flaky. We use ice water so we minimize the possibility of melting the butter or shortening. It takes very little water. The proportions of flour, fat, and water are precise, so adhere religiously to the quantities in your recipe. The final step before rolling out the dough is important. Wrap the dough in saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator for at least an hour, even better overnight. This gives the flour time to fully absorb the water and relax. It's much easier to roll out then. We weigh out the amount needed for one pie and using our pie press, stamp out that shell. We let the pie shells rest again overnight so they don't shrink up when we bake them. Now find a recipe that sounds good to you. Incorporate the things we shared and you'll have the shell for your family's own favorite pie. Thank you for watching. Let us know what you think.